Hey girl, do you like pinball? Yeah. Do you like Sonic the Hedgehog? Yeah. Well then, this is the game for you. It is Sonic Spinball. 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 It was released in 1993. It was a year before Sonic 3. They made this game to, because, you know, they had to make a Sonic game for the year, and so they decided to make this. There was also Sonic 3D Blast, which came out two years after Sonic 3, but I'll cover that soon. Okay, so it's basically simple. It's a, it's a freaking pinball game. Sega. Alright, let's pick up this controller. Ah. Other than the pinball game controls, this, the controls in the When Sonic, plus also, Sonic can do his basic moves like he did in every other Sonic game, except the controls are a bit stiff. And there's a Chaos Emerald, but for some reason all of them are blue. Why are all the Chaos Emeralds blue? Is it because Sonic is blue? To be honest, I never got any of the Chaos Emeralds. Because I never even tried with this game. As you can see, I got the Chaos. The Chaos Emerald its barrier is broken. Now it's time to move on to the next part of the stage. And now I'm in a... What, what is this, a boat? Am I in a boat? Sonic the Hedgehog! Sonic the Hedgehog boats! Buy it now! Ha, huh, got the emerald easily. Okay, well, I'm just gonna move on to the next stage. Intermission. Plus also, you have to break some barrels. Basically, it's a pinball game. So... The first stage is a toxic stage where you're getting rid of toxic waste by smashing these barrels and of course like I showed you get the chaos emeralds that's right you have to get the chaos emeralds in the game as well 
also you can ride in a mine cart. And like I showed you earlier, you can use a barrel as a boat. Let's see, what else can I talk about this game? Uh, it has boss battles. And also, some of the characters from the Sad AM and the Adventure Subsonic the Hedgehog cartoons appear in this game. Like, Sally Acorn, Scratch, and I think Grounder as well. Plus also, some of the Chaos Emeralds in the stages are hidden, so you have to try your best to find all the Emeralds. So, if you know where all the emeralds are, go get them. If you don't, look it up on Wikipedia. First stage has three emeralds, and I'm guessing that the other two, that the other stages have, like, what, two emeralds? By the way, I know nothing about this game because I never played anything but the first level. So once you collect all the emeralds in the stage, the boss room will be open. Which, you can guess is a fight against Robotnik. I mean, who else would the boss be? I mean, seriously, who else would it be? Donald Trump? The first boss is an Eggman Scorpion. An Eggman Scorpion. And look how easy it is. So once you defeat it, you go to the next stage. And sometimes you'll get a bonus stage in the game. And this is where the, uh, the, the Saturday morning cartoon characters and the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog characters appear. This is the second stage. It's scary. Uh, that's... I don't know how else to explain this. It's like, um, that, it's like Sandopolis from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Except, it's much scarier, and has kind of like a chemical plant feeling to it. So, I think there are four stages in this game. So, yeah. This stage has three emeralds, and so did the last stage. Does that mean the next stage will only have one emerald? Why are all the bosses in this game so terrifying? Seriously, a four-headed Robotnik? And every time you destroy a head, it disappears, and now it's a three-headed one. I don't feel comfortable with this game. Um, what is this? The Death Star? Okay, so there are three emeralds per stage. Last time I checked, there was only seven emeralds. Not, like, what? Um, twelve. Okay, so the other two stages had three emeralds. But this one has five. Yeah, five. So the boss is what? Come on. Come on. I can take it. Then again, the boss in this stage is a roboticizer. It's the thing that makes all the animals in the game into robots. Then you have to destroy it from the inside. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, each boss explodes when you defeat them. Okay, so this bonus stage has Scratch, well, multiple clones of him anyways, guarding this animal capsule. And I'm guessing you have to destroy it, along with the other robots. Hey, why are you destroying me? Because Scratch, you suck. Hey, I do not. Yeah, you kind of do. Yeah, you're right. Plus also, shut up. Fine. So as soon as you beat the third stage, Robotnik escapes, which leads to the final boss of the game. The final boss is with, you guessed it, Dr. Robotnik. And he's sitting up there in his little chamber of protection. Why is he there? 
because he thinks that if he stays in there, Sonic won't hurt him. And to defeat him, break the just break the window. So after defeating him, you get to the end of the game. Goodbye, Robotnik. Yeah, goodbye. Finally. I thought he'd never leave. Now let's see the ending of the game. If it will get to it. <laughs> Tail saved Sonic, but left Robotnik to die? Oh, never mind. He just lands in his lair that... Nope, he left him to die. So what do I think of this game? Well, sure, it had some flaws, but after all, after all that, it's still a good game. And what, how do I rate this game? Um, well, I give this a 5 out of 10. Well, I'll see you all tomorrow where I will show you all. Um, probably, Sonic 3D Blast. See you all next time, and peace out.